Radical. Hey, what's up, Radical Rick here? A very sleepy Radical Rick. I commentate on all kinds of things going on on YouTube, sports, video games. We cover it all here, or at least I try to. A couple hours ago, I was made aware of a situation going on with Quantum TV and The Act Man. And I checked out a bit of The Act Man's upload on it. I checked out some Ordinary Gamers upload talking about this. And I was disturbed by a crazy cow lick. You know, just kind of flinging out. It didn't look like it was actually part of his, his hair, but it was on the Ordinary Gamers uh, upload. And on that upload, the Ordinary Gamer, some Ordinary Gamers said that uh, people can actually take bits of his upload and he won't copyright strike people. So, you know, well, thank you. I might show that cow lick at some point there, some Ordinary Gamers. But what you're seeing here on the background is from three hours ago. This seems to be a high escalation between Act Man and Quantum TV. I will talk about this after I read it, and I'll try to figure out what's going on, which might be kind of difficult. Quantum TV says to the Act Man, I reached out to your mother to convey the severity of real-world harm you have been causing through your social media actions. I in no way ever threatened your mother or family. I definitely never issued any veiled threats but now you're calling for ACT Bros to unite for ACT Mother's Honor? This has officially turned into criminal activity. This is a direct call for an uprising and threat of gun violence against me. I warned you. I even gave you a chance to stop. These death threats are not okay. I've made no threats to appear at your home. And given the last conversation I had with your mother, I figured you'd leave me alone. But here's yet another extremely manipulative post calling for unity as you threaten gun violence. I'll be sending this to authorities. Threats will not be tolerated. And you see there, uh, violence even reached out. Uh, let's see here. We wouldn't want families to get hurt or involved in this. I wish I was fucking joking. If we see you, Quantum, we shoot on sight. Okay. Wow. Uh, and then let's go on beyond that six hours ago. So it begins. Just got an email about a copyright claim I didn't file. If you receive any fake claims, please reach out. I'll try to re retraction immediately. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of crazy stuff going on here. This is escalated. I mean, if I had the time, I would actually like look into all these tweets between the both of them. Uh, seems to be that maybe what could be going on here is maybe there's like fake quantum TVs. I mean, I myself have had actually issues in the past with like fake radical ricks. Maybe what's going on is there's fake quantum TVs and there's fake act mans that are tweeting back and forth. and But he said he reached out to Ackman's own mother. So did he call Ackman's mother? I don't know. In any case, I am not equipped. I think I bit off more than I can chew. Quantum TV bit off more than he can chew by filing a DMCA versus the Ackman. I did in trying to reply to something that I absolutely know nothing about here. But uh, when it comes to DMCA takedowns, uh, Quantum TV seemed to go crazy, just started filing them to everybody that was uh, doing, you know, fair use uploads. He was saying that the content was stolen and that YouTube actually reached out and told him that he should do that. The thing is, YouTube doesn't hand out legal advice. YouTube stays clear of it. So YouTube did not tell Quantum TV to do this. So, uh, yeah, we will see what is going on here, what happens uh, maybe I might have an update to this later, or maybe I'll just cover something a little easier, like maybe some sports stuff. You know, we'll swing back to that. But any of you that know a lot more about the situation, feel free to comment in the comment section down below with all your thoughts on this, this craziness.